or the heresy that everything that happens is God's will. No, human sin, such as displayed in today's Bible text by the monster Herod, is not God's will. But it happens all the time. It's not God's will being done. Herod's brutality is not God's will being done on earth. It's the behavior of an arrogant, self-centered, conscienceless, military dictator whose only use for God is to give his narcissistic, corrupt, murderous governing an air of legitimacy. That's why the temple was built. That's why the priests and the Bible scholars were employed by him, to make him look good. You see, God's will is creative. It is not destructive. God's plan was for the birth of the Savior, Jesus, not his death. It was God's intention to celebrate Christ's mass, Christmas, not his massacre. That was King Herod's alternative news. It was not the good news of the Christian gospel. Joseph decided he was not going to fight. He was going to flee. He withdrew from the battle and he went on retreat. This little remnant of refugees, this holy family, three homeless people finding safety in a foreign land is all that's left on the first Sunday of the new year of the glorious promise of peace on earth and goodwill among men that had been promised. As Father Joe wrote in his year-end column, when we realized that the Holy Family was real, not only a Christmas card, then Epiphany becomes a feast for us too. When we walk with God, despite our family dysfunctions, our flaws, and our imperfections, when there's love in our family, then we are on the way to becoming a holy family ourselves. May the toxic politics and the brutal violence of this horrible experience in Jesus' young life open not only his eyes, but open our eyes to the reality of trying to live a faithful, godly life in an ungodly world. It is a severe challenge. And may we, now that our eyes are open, find more empathy in ourselves for people like the Holy Family, who are victims of violence, or homeless families, or asylum seekers, or immigrant refugees in our own day. It was their story. It's the Christian story. It's our story. They are us. And then through our new awareness, through our understanding and our empathy, May we show more compassion in our approach to them in this new year.